with profound humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters. We bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 4 of 4 Etc. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visite suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Ma karya kamalo andar jastu nai aneka baachala lo. Daije chodandi suprememastertv chuka kam idu slash schedule. We're here to know ourselves, to know God, and that's the problem within this planet, among the people who are not ready to hear. You cannot imagine how blind people can be, huh? How blind? Such obvious things and don't understand. We are very surprised to find that many so-called uh, very powerful and civilized countries are not always <laughs> developed in spiritual understanding, yeah? Please keep watching to find out more. Vegan, because we are civilized. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian or Uranian. Upon greeting a Gabonese native, they might respond with a friendly Yunamba, which means how are you in the fan language. My name is Cristel. The kind-hearted citizens of Gabon applaud individuals such as yourself for their thoughtful behavior and the compassionate actions that set a great example. Located on the equator on the west coast of Central Africa, Gabon has an 800-kilometer Atlantic Ocean coastline and is neighbored by Equatorial Guinea, Republic of the Congo, and Cameroon. The nation is known for its dense rainforest that covers three-fourths of the country and is home to nearly 9,000 species of plants and animal people. To preserve this incredible biodiversity, the Gabonese government designated 13 national parks. These provide much-needed habitats for the endangered chimpanzee people and the critically endangered western lowland gorilla people. Spanning four provinces in the country, the Lope Okanda Park, 
and its related archaeological sites have been inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Gabon has also pledged further measures to protect wildlife and has become an exemplary nation in the enforcement of anti-poaching laws. Moreover, a program called Green Gabon focuses on renewable energy development as well as sustainable practices that support both the rainforest and the nation's people. The ethnic origins of the Gabonese people are largely Bantu, with 40 different Bantu groups living in Gabon today. Festivities celebrated include religious holidays as well as those honoring artists, such as the Festival of Cultures. This colorful celebration brings together Gabonese people and also welcomes the artistic input of foreign guests. It was a pleasant experience traveling around the beautiful Gabon with you. Cheerful viewers, may God watch over you and inspire you to excel in the tasks that fulfill your purpose on earth. Wow, a classy lady. Vegan, you said? Hey, should have guessed. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Guanyin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime internal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Guanyin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped world honored one Shakyamuni Buddha, vegan the worshipped Son of God, Jesus Christ, vegetarian, the venerated master and philosopher, Confucius, vegetarian, the venerated Lord Krishna, vegetarian, the venerated master and philosopher, Lao Tzu, vegan, the venerated Lord Mahavira, vegan, the beloved Prophet Muhammad, vegetarian, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, vegetarian, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 Gusi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, 
the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavira Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with the numerous other awards. And accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds. Etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions, with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life. A tranquil and glorious all-vegan world, where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants, loving hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television. As well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations. While saving our planet from climate change and disasters, Supreme Master Ching Hai Vegan has traveled worldwide, 
and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present the insightful gathering entitled "A Master Incognito, Part Four of Six on Between Master and Disciples," given in English and Chinese on May 12, 2000, in Yeongdong, Korea. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. Tình yêu sao rực lửa, tình yêu sao lạnh bay, tình yêu như địa ngục, tình yêu như thiên đàng. Land is not a problem. It's the people. It's the politicians. It's the religious、uh, leaders. All kinds of things. Just like always. Just like always. The ones who preach the truth, <laughs> the real things, they are having more difficulty than the ones who just are repeating whatever is left over from the rest. <laughs> yeah. Even if I were just an ordinary nun or monk or anybody, I could go anywhere. I have as big a land as I want, and all I do is just open the Bible or the Buddhist scripture and and and, and read it, <laughs> and then we have all peace and quiet. It's no problem. It's just because、uh, we don't conform to all these、uh, ritual and traditions. We are here to know ourselves, to know God, and that's the problem within this planet, among the people who are not ready to hear. You cannot imagine how blind people can be, huh? How blind? Such obvious things and don't understand. Yeah. If I go to your country for a while, you know, like one week, two weeks, or two, three months, it's probably no problem. But if I stay long, then it's different. Yeah, very different. Because、uh, the positive power will be stirred up, you know, and then the negative power will feel disturbed, and then the both of them will have some struggle, and that's how things would begin to. Be a little bit、uh, unpleasant,、um, a little, and then more, <laughs> depending on the country. We are very surprised to find that many so-called、uh, very powerful and civilized countries are not always <laughs> developed in spiritual understanding. Yeah, you you know it yourself. So please、uh, do not、uh, make it harder for me <laughs> by asking me to go to your country alone or stay somewhere longer and make an established place. I would very much like to. I very much like to. Believe me, I like it more than all of you do. Yeah. So yeah, I don't have to run around. People can come to me and all that. It's easier for me to. I also don't like traveling as much as you do. Yeah. I, I I really hate traveling. <laughs> I don't love exercise that much. <laughs> This is the way it was arranged. It looks very easy from your point of view because it's your country and you are just an ordinary person. You don't do anything to stir up any trouble. You can spread the teachings to a few friends and. Neighbors and、um, give the flyers. You're not the responsible person, so you don't feel the pressure. Yeah, you do sometimes. Even then, some people, some people give you trouble. Yeah. Last time I was invited to Taiwan in the research institute just to give a short speech, like two hours, answer their questions and all that. And still, the the organizer has so much pressure from many. <laughs> Different、uh, departments keep calling them,、uh, uh, questioning them, and threatening them, and you know, pressuring them, and all kinds of things as to why they invited me precisely. <laughs> they could invite anybody else, no, no questions, <laughs> because I was not the only one who was invited there. It would be too bad for them if they invited me alone; they would be in trouble, I guess. <laughs> so they invited many people,、oh, at least six or seven of them. I was one of them only. 
And the others didn't have problems. Only my invitation posed a lot of questions and still have a lot of excitement <laughs> <laughs> among the, you know, people, the political and the religious in there. Hmm? And I don't know why either. <laughs> don't ask me why, because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I have done. And I don't know what I did that provoked so much uh, excitement and questions among them and put pressure on the inviter, the host. Can you imagine why? Huh? Because you are too famous. <laughs> Sorry? Because you are too famous. <laughs> I'm too famous. Ah, they yes. are also famous. Huh? I think the truth. Yeah. People getting a better uh, educated. <laughs> they will lose their, their power. <laughs> Probably also. Yeah. Probably. You're right. All of you are right. <laughs> but I still don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. What I mean is, is I don't understand uh, how we as a Buddha, as God, could choose to be so blind, so illogical, just to play the fool. <laughs> but that's the way it is, I guess, the way of creation. There must be two forces existing at the same time. Yeah. Mm, okay, well, like that's also good for me, means I have less work to do, so it's also okay. It's a protection in disguise, you know. <laughs> If it was so easy, everybody would invite me every week, every month, and I would be, you know, having no time at all for you even, yeah, to take care of the ones who are already initiated, yeah. It's not only initiation, we also have to take care of follow-up, you know, yeah. So I have more time, and so we can have retreats and talk nonsense together, have fun, <laughs> and be friends, yeah. Recently, anything new, anything nice that you want to tell me? Any nice idea besides the school? <laughs> the school is a good idea. The hotel is also a good idea. I was thinking before, you know, long ago, I was thinking maybe we buy a hotel and just manage like a hotel and everybody can come in anytime. I was thinking like that. Yeah. But then we have to know how to pay taxes and all that stuff. And, <laughs> <laughs> we need really good staff, yeah. good accountant and all that. Um, I'm kind of scared anything to do with a lot of money and paperwork you know, and taxes and all that. I'm scared. I'm scared we might forget to pay or we don't know how to pay and then... <laughs> yeah. But I think it's okay for now, huh? Yeah. It's just, I guess, many of you like to have a special place like Meoli before, so you know I'm there and... You can come any time. I guess it's nice to have that idea also, huh? Mm. How do other people do it? How do other masters do it? How do they... Suppose, for example, they teach the same method, how do they do that? They stay in their country, huh? I guess, huh? Like India, huh? India is more peaceful, huh? Or not? Nepal? Nepal? Eh? Nepal, eh? Nepal, Wang Chin. Nepal people feel so much love for you, Mother. Oh, yeah, Even they, the Chao. They do, they do. Yeah. Yeah. But everywhere they feel so much love, that I must say. Oh, in Nepal we had like, almost 700 people initiated. Just uh, one night. <laughs> and that's very big compared to other countries. 260. 260. There was a lecture, 2,500 more than... That's a lot, 10 percent. The 260 and 500 convenient method. 500 convenient method, yeah. So. Nepal is a very funny country. It's very friendly. The day of my lecture, there was a big, big demonstration outside on the street next to the lecture hall. They were running around in that area. And there were thousands of people. They were demonstrating against some policy of the government or something. I had not really a very clear idea. And after they demonstrated, they all came to the lecture hall. <laughs> they threw away their banners and, and, and uh, folded their flags and then, and then just uh, queued in front of the lecture hall, demanding to come in. The police 
was scared and let them in. And they just stood there, they say, we don't leave until we hear the master speak. <laughs> <laughs> so they just stood now there. <laughs> Many thousands of them stood outside. And we had no equipment for them because the hall inside was already full, full to capacity. Yeah, 4,000 more or 5,000, we had no place for them, but they were still standing there. That was a very <laughs> adamant <laughs> country. They're very good, yeah. But that country is already a, a Buddhist country, you know? The majority are Buddhists. Uh, there are some Hindus and some Muslims. But all of them, you know, even the Muslims, the Hindus, they were all standing out there. <laughs> and the police wanted them to go home. They say, you've done your job, you have demonstrated, now is time to go home. They say, no, we came here to listen to Master. <laughs> yeah, they say, we don't leave until we hear her speak. <laughs> that was outside. <laughs> and inside was also very exciting and very loving. It's a very good country. Even Jedana? Wujita. Tao Chang na? Nan Chang. Nan. <笑>難找是什麼意思難講難找什麼找地地是不難啦我們定是比較有錢就可以了那你怎麼說難找呢難找就是大氣很麻煩哦哦太太偏僻了對啊 he said that country is too remote <laughs> difficult, uh, difficult to go there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, every country has some problem, huh? How about Vietnam? The yes. least problem, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the least problem, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't know, you don't know. The people everywhere are okay. In most of the places, any country, the people are okay, except the fanatics, yeah? But the majority of people in any country are very friendly to us, and they welcome us everywhere. You can see that. Doesn't matter which country, be it Jerusalem or Nepal or India or America or anywhere, Australia, New Zealand even. You see how nice people have been to us everywhere. They accept immediately because their soul knows that. It's just the political situation of that country or the religious situation of that country that poses a problem for our long-term uh, residents, that's all. Not about the people. So in, so in order to uh, help people, I just have to go from one to another, that's enough. No need to stay anywhere. And you have to run around with me. <laughs> okay? Mm. Uh, we can uh, collect money and then uh, buy, a, and buy a land and then uh, create a, a, a country. Mm. Uh, yeah, and then uh, all, uh, all the people who want to, to come in this country must be vegetarian. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we contact. like that idea. Yeah, combine island in Indonesia and start asking for trouble. <laughs> it takes a long time to establish a country, yeah, to be recognized. This is not that easy. And once you say to the United Nations that you are from Supreme Master Qinghai, you are vegan. They don't even want to talk to you, I don't think. I don't know. They like politics together. I don't know if they would even endorse, you know, a country that is vegan and has practitioners and all that. It's not easy, okay? Maybe you should uh, take a post in the United Nations, a deciding panel, and then we talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> to have a nation, you must be endorsed by the United Nations and maybe six or seven countries. Am I right or not? Anybody knows? They don't know that? I heard, I heard like that, something like that. And there's, uh, I don't know how much demand. Why don't you find out and tell me? Huh? Find out and then tell me. Maybe we can, uh, we can demand uh, to UNESCO. Huh? You can ask, uh, you can ask uh, to UNESCO to, to, to have uh, authorization. Oh, you do, you do that. Huh? <laughs> yeah. If, uh, if all the disciples... Uh, yeah, uh, why not? Uh, find out about it, okay? <laughs> find out what's the conditions. Uh, how much money, <laughs> for example. Maybe you have to pay have something, I don't know. Yeah? You have uh, the signatures of uh, all the disciples, 
and okay. to uh, to write a letter to uh, UNESCO, for okay. example. Okay, we can try that. Just make yourself more famous and <laughs> draw more attention. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, never mind. It's better to be quiet. Okay, it's better like this. It's better. I'm going everywhere. Easier. <laughs> Once I am the head of a nation, oh, where do I run? <laughs> Once I am the king of one country, <laughs> I can't go anywhere. It will be even worse than now. Tình ra đi, tình trở lại, tình ngọt ngào, tình ngang trái, tình đưa ta lên trời cao, tình diêm ta xuống vực sâu, ta kêu gào, ta than van. Russia, leave Ukraine or Ukraine now. Peace be with you too. Climate change, overexploited natural resources, deforestation, wasted land, water and air pollution, the most serious environmental problems of our time are all directly linked to eating meat. Gaurav Jain, vegan. Tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples. The one customs inspector, he looked at me, looked at my luggage, and I say, Huh? I think you look like the Supreme Master Ching Hai. <laughs> I say, Ah, everybody said that. I say I hear that all the time. <laughs> so he didn't think of anything, he gave me a stamp and then I went. <laughs> and after I left a long, long, long distance, you know, I blow a kiss to him. <laughs> and then he said, Ah, you are you <laughs> You are the master. <laughs> I ran already to the taxi. <laughs> There are 211 countries in regions which have animal people protection laws. Italy is one of them. Italy, act against cruelty to animals, clandestine fighting and unauthorized competitions. Italy's laws state that those who cause the cruel or unnecessary death of an animal person shall be punished with 3 to 18 months detention. Causing injury to or torturing an animal individual is punishable with 3 to 12 months detention or a fine of up to 15,000 euros. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughter houses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan, make peace, so be it. Dazzling viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled A Master Incognito, Part 4 of 6, on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is How to Acquire Your Inner Highest Potential Power, Questions and Answers, Part 8 of 11, on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more constructive programming. May your deep faith in the Divine lead you towards spiritual liberation and detachment from material possessions. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.